Well, right now in Maryland, state police continue to investigate this fatal crash in Charles County. It happened this morning in Nanjamoy, just outside of La Plata. A dump truck collided with a senior living facility bus, killing three people, including the driver of that bus. Matt Gregory is live at the state police barracks in Charles County. And Matt, I understand that you just got an update in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, and I want to stress, by the way, before we get to it, that the, this is very early in the on in the investigation. There's still accident reconstruction information to go through. We have forensics to look at, as well as any witness statements that might be going through. So police are still waiting to do a final report. However, the initial report does seem to show that the driver of the senior living facility bus may be at fault. And within the last few minutes, we just learned the names, unfortunately, of the victims who died during the crash. Let's take you to earlier this morning around 8 o'clock in the morning, a fully loaded dump truck on Port Tobacco Road, Route 6 down here. What going towards the intersection of Bowie Road collided with a Sage Point senior living facility bus. It was a head on devastating crash. Emergency crews got to the scene in seconds, but there wasn't much they could do for the people in the bus. Now, police have just said in the last few minutes, 84 year old Charlie Parker of Mechanicsville, Maryland, drove the bus. Two passengers on the on the bus are Deline Burrell, 64 and Cassandra Brown, 61 both of Waldorf, Maryland. All three of them died at the scene. Those were the three occupants of the bus. Now, the driver of the dump truck was not injured. Now, our crews tried to talk to him on the scene, but he understandably did not want to speak. Police say it, looking through the investigation, driving conditions were ideal. There was high visibility. There were dry roads, and there does not seem to be any indication that either driver was speeding. But initially, looking at the investigation, police say it may have been the fault of the bus driver. All I could tell you is that positionally, it seems that the senior living facility bus had crossed over the double yellow line. A witness uh, who saw the truck drive by, who, who basically has informed us the only thing that she could was that the dump truck did not appear to be speeding or driving erratically in any way. Now, in our own investigation, we went to the Sage Point Assisted Living Facility uh, earlier to, uh, earlier this afternoon to try to get a statement from them or at least speak to them about the incident, what's going on, any sort of information they could give. They did not give us anything yet. We've requested a statement. When we get information, when we get something from the Sage Point Assisted Living Facility, we'll bring it to you both here and on our website. But for now, in Charles County, I'm Matt Gregory, but coming up in uh, about an hour or so, we're going to talk about uh, with police about why speed wasn't as important as the weight of the dump truck. So again, in Charles County, Matt Gregory, back to you guys. You know, three people lost their lives today and just seeing the images of the crash, you feel for the families, it's complete devastation. Matthew, thank you.